All right, game devs, welcome back. Let's just move right along. Uh, I wanted to make some changes to the enemy. Right now, it only follows along paths, but sometimes we don't want it to follow a path. We want it to be a little more predictable and just move left to right. So we're going to create a variable called a variable called path. It's going to equal choose true or false. Okay, I'm going to say if path is equal to true, then it's going to do this, where it just chooses a path. And it's going to be nice and easy. Else, if it's not true, then we're going to give it some rules to follow. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to say speed equals two. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Random range, two, four. Direction equals 180, so it'll be moving left. X equals room width plus 16. It's still going to uh, it's still going to be created off the right side of the screen. And then Y equals random range. 16. So we want it to be at least 16 pixels from the top. We don't want it. Actually, it could be eight. That would be but that would mean it would be like perfectly up at the top. 16 gives us a little more room and then 240, which is 16 pixels up from the very bottom. It's 256 pixels tall. So now, when we run the game, you'll see that they either choose, they either start from the path, or they just kind of come at you slowly towards the left. They come at random speeds. And it just kind of gives it a little more unpredictability. Red gun does really well in this situation. Anyway, there we are. That's it for this lesson. It just kind of adds a little more, it makes it so they don't always follow the same thing. So that's a little better. All right, we'll see you in the next lesson.